So you go ahead and click on Assets and then Import Package. And now we need to navigate to the main Unity folder, um, which should be on your hard drive. Let's just find mine. There it is, the main Unity program folder. And then click on Editor and then Standard Packages. And now this is all. This was all contained in that list that we saw at the very start when we opened the program. Um, that's the one we chose, Character Controller. We now want to add a skybox or an environment to our scene. We'll go ahead and double click and it starts importing the package. We asked to select what aspects of that package you want to bring in. Um, for a minute, they're all ticked, we're just going to import them all. Okay, that's finished importing. Now if you go ahead and click on your standard assets, and we'll make this smaller, you can um, do that by clicking on the little arrow next to it there. And you'll see our skyboxes package that we've just imported. You go ahead and click on the little arrow again, it shows you everything that's in, in that package. Now to change the environment when we play the game, you'll need to go to Edit, Render Settings, and then in the inspector you'll see it's changed to show the render settings for our game. You can have things like fog, any ambient lights, um, and then bits and pieces to do with uh, lights and stuff which I haven't really got around to having a look at yet. But this is the one we're interested in at the moment, the skybox material. We go ahead and click on the very small circle next to the word material in brackets. It comes up there with a list or a few circles showing you the options we can have in our scene. We've got Eerie Skybox, Moonshine Sky, Overcast Sky and some other things as well. Um, let's try and cheer this up a bit. Let's go for a Sunny Free Skybox. You just double click there and it appears in the Skybox material. So then when, hopefully when we run the game, click on the little play icon. There we are. You've got the clouds and the sun. It's like uh, quite a nice day. But it's still pretty boring. You've got a very grey plane still, so let's try and improve that slightly. Let's go ahead and stop the game running, click on the play, and that takes us back again to our environment. Okay, so let's try and add some more detail to the plane. Let's say, for example, you wanted to put a texture on there. In your project, this is where you want to put anything you want to bring into your game. You don't have to necessarily have it in your game, it's just there if you want it. So go ahead and right click and then import new asset. And then you can use any bitmap JPEG you want to use and um, just navigate to one that you want to try out. Let's have a look at what we've got. Textures. Let's just try four. And there we have it. It's brought in our um, texture that we can then simply click, drag onto a plane, and up it comes. It's massive, so you're either a very tiny person or the texture's stretched. Um, we can change this if you double click on the game object with the texture. In our inspector, where we make all the changes to any objects, you'll see here it's got our shader and our texture, and you can also change the tiling. So if we go ahead and let's make it a bit smaller, Let's say, let's try 10 by 10. We go more, that looks a bit better. Let's have a quick test. Click on the play. There you'll see we've got our texture applied. And you can see much clearer the movement of the character now. There we are. Okay. But, still pretty boring. So if we go ahead, we're going to add a light to the scene just to create a bit more of an interesting look. So we'll go ahead and click on Game Object, Create Other, Point Light. And then you'll see it pops into our scene in the hierarchy, which is where all of our game objects are stored in the current scene. You can move the light around like any other object. You've got all the axes there. Let's go ahead and put it in the corner, give us something to walk towards. In the inspector, all the um, things we can change for the lighter detailed here. 
Uh, the light's not very bright, so we could go ahead um, and let's see if we can increase the range, let's say to let's try 50. There we go, that's pretty good. You see the circle's got bigger there, that's where the effect of the light goes out to, and the brightness will be controlled by intensity. It's a bit bright, let's try. Something like that. Uh, the shadow type. You could change it, I think, and then you'll get a message. Uh, yeah, you get a message there saying that you require Unity Pro for shadows. Doesn't mean you can't have shadows in your game. Um, you have to go about it a slightly different way. You have to go down the route of light mapping, which we can get to in another tutorial. And that's in its simplest form how you get a light into your scene. Um, let's go ahead and play that. Let's have a quick look. And there you go. You'll notice that. Uh, We've got a very bright light there in the scene, which is creating a much better effect across the whole plane. Makes it a lot more dynamic and very easy and straightforward to use. Let's stop that. And there we go, that's pretty much it. Um, now you could carry on and develop the scene further. You could add a few uh, more game objects. Um, we could try, let's have a look what they've got. We could try a cube. Let's put a cube in our scene. You should see it pop in there. It's also come up in a hierarchy, but it's come up way up off of the scene. So again, we want to change its position. We set it in the middle first. So zero, zero, zero on all axes, and there it is. Again, it'll be halfway through our plane object, um, which doesn't really matter because we're not going to be interacting with it. But it just doesn't look very good. So if you can remember how to change that, you click on your one of these side views and just drag it up. And then change back to perspective by clicking the yellow box. And then we can move it around. And we shall increase the size by clicking on the scale in the top left and dragging out. And that would have gone below again. So we just need to raise it up slightly. There. Now, that box has come into our scene, it's got its colliders on there already, which means that if we were to walk around, we wouldn't be able to go through the object, which is very useful. Now let's have a quick test. I'm going to click, go ahead and click on play. If I walk around, there, there it is. There you go, yep, we can't go through it. So it's got its colliders on there as well. And it really is as straightforward as that, and you can apply any texture you want to that. Um, eventually you could write scripts for it that allow you to interact with it in any way you want to. Um, it's all very, very customizable and very simple. Um, if we go ahead and stop that. And there it is. Um, if there's any questions, then just leave them in the comments section below. Um, uh, please feel free to subscribe. I'm going to try and do a new Unity video every week. Uh, as far as I develop, I'll carry on trying to learn new things and and doing some tutorials on them. If there's any requests then please let me know and I'll try my best to figure them out. Uh, but thanks for watching guys and uh, happy coding! In next week's tutorial, learn how to create fire, water and snow.